This video documents my second attempt at firing primitive pottery made from local clay found near my home. These small experimental pots have an increased percentage of quartz sand temper as opposed to the first group of pots I fired. I'm hoping this will control shrinkage and eliminate the cracks that formed in my first set of pots. As before, I set these pots next to the fire to slowly warm them up and dry out any residual moisture. As they heat up, they're moved in closer until they're surrounded by the fire. Then sticks are piled up until they completely cover the pottery. I add scrap lumber to the fire since it's kiln dried and will burn hot and clean. Note how this fire produces no smoke indicating that it's burning at peak efficiency and creating the highest possible temperatures. As the fire burns down to coals, you can see the little pots glowing red hot. Later, the pots become more visible, and these close-ups reveal that there are no cracks visible anywhere on these pots. That's a great sign. As long as these pots cool slowly, they shouldn't crack. I leave the pots to cool overnight and then check them in the morning. No cracks were visible, and it appears this firing was a great success. All the pots survived. This pot, made of clay from Colorado, was also a success, as were these others, made from local North Georgia clay. The largest pot had some very small cracks in the rim, but this clay had a lower percentage of temper than the rest, so that was to be expected. Overall, this firing was a great success, and I've made a lot of progress towards creating functional and durable cookware from local clay.